All right, what up, y'all? It's your boy, Red Milwaukee 414, man. Back at it again. Sneaker Con San Antonio, Texas. It's about. To, it's already crazy in here, man. They got like three other events going on. It's uh, Sweet 16, and it's like a national like cheerleading competition. So it's cracking in here, crazy. But that's always happening in downtown San Antonio, man. Let's go ahead, get in here, check out the whole place, man. Uh, I ain't done Sneaker Con since pre-COVID, to be honest with you. So let's go ahead and check it out, man. Let's go. Man, that first time ever alive, man. man. After I don't know how many years I told them to come, they gonna come back now. Yeah, that shit's popping, bro. This shit is crazy. How you, how you, how you living good. though? Good, good. You living good? Yeah, I saw a lot of shit, bro. Nice, nice, bro. Yeah, nice. Man. It's dope that yeah, you're here too. Yeah, Jonah's fucking showing love, bro. Yeah, it, it's all, but it's always like this. Yeah. Yeah, and they yeah, finally I came. That when, uh, was it the Spurs? Yeah. That was good too. It's always like this, man. It don't matter what event it is. Sneaker Con come out. I mean, uh, San Antonio, they come out yeah. and they spend money. Yeah, I know. So, I noticed that, bro. So I've been trying to tell like them, man. Fifth, my fifth event in San Antonio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. What up? You know what I'm saying? I got my boy right here, man. You know what I'm saying? Go and tell them who you are. Uh, my name is uh, Demetrio Morales88 on Instagram. Demetrio Morales88. So make sure you guys check him out. Make sure you guys check out his brand. Dope, dope. He always has them steals and deals, so make sure you guys check them out for sure, man. All right, bro. Hey, man, for sure, man. What's happening, man? I thought What's you up? wasn't going to make it. Man, I, hey, I'm glad I came now, but yeah. I'm like, damn, it's still like, I, I forgot about Sweet 16 and the cheerleading competition. That's mm -hmm. why I'm like, God damn, man. It's crazy as hell. All right, y'all know what it is, man. We over here with twins. It's going down, man. Y'all killing? First you of all, y'all killing. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Beating that jaw in here. You already know how it go. Man, it's crazy in here, man. So, you know, first thing first, I had to come highlight twins, man. Y'all got my 13, right? In the uh, in the playoffs? Yeah. All right, man, 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 man. Yeah. 13 playoff. Back it up. Back it up? No, 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 no. Not right now, not right now, not right now. Because I ain't finna walk around with that shit. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, 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 but hey, this, you know what I'm saying? We talked about this for a minute because I took that L, so they most definitely got me. Uh, I most definitely appreciate y'all on this one for sure, man. For sure. But they always, they always got that arsenal. They was going to trade me because I had a 12, but I ended up selling it or whatever like that, but they still took care of me or whatever. So, you know what I'm saying? We good on that. Y'all sitting good, though? Y'all sitting yeah, lovely? We sitting all right. We sitting all right. Man. We sitting all right. It's been lit all day. It's been lit. It's been, it's been lit. But so, like I said, uh, the chili. It was kind of slow. It was kind of slow at first. Because in the beginning? The vendors, yeah, because the, you know, the loading dock's so small. Yeah. People were running late, everything like that. They didn't want to open the doors until everybody got loaded in. Okay, okay, okay. Or right. whatever. So it was kind of slow opening up because they were slow to open the door. But I mean, since they started letting people in, it's been getting it. I mean, y'all come to San Antonio all the time. So, but with Sneaker Con being the first time in San Antonio, like, how do you feel the vibes of it being the first time? And do you think they're coming back? I feel like they're coming back. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I feel like with the ticket sales that I'm hearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the ticket sales that I'm hearing or whatever, from, from what I'm seeing or whatever, the vibe in here, I think Sneaker uh, Con will definitely come back to San Antonio. Now, now twins know. How many years have we talked about San Antonio and now they finally want to come to San Antonio? We done talked about it for a while. I mean, cause, <laughs> cause it's, it's inevitable. San yeah. Antonio got great culture when it comes yeah. to sneakers. Like, they show out or whatever, it don't matter what show it is. I done seen plenty of shows come through San Antonio, mm -hmm. from Sneaks Up mm -hmm. to the Top Golf Kicks yep. event. They don't yep. know about that one. Yeah, top, yeah, Top facts. Golf Kicks facts. event. Facts. Uh, the Spurs Sneaker Jam. Yep, yep. You know, now, and of course, City to City. Yep, yep. You know, San Antonio always show love. It don't matter what show it is. San Antonio always showing love. So, of course, Sneaker kind of had to break in on that. 
That's a fact. That's a fact, man. So y'all see what it is, man. We're going to keep it moving. Check out the rest of the spot, man. But you know, we have to check out Twins first and foremost. What's up? 210 RC Customs, the best in San Antonio. Matter of fact, I'm going to be honest with you. Compared to Big A, it's like 1 and 1A. One like, this is the female Big A, and then Big A is the male Big A. Like, that's, that's, that's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. He did? What'd he say? He's like, impeccable. He's like, this is beautiful. Don't stop. He was like, you got it. You tell him how long you've been doing it? Yeah. I know that blue is mine, right? He was just like, wow. I know that blue is mine. Yeah. And then when I found out he had been doing it for like 20 plus years, I said, wow. Yeah. For him to give me that critique, I just was super humbled. And I know I'm on Did you right exchange track. information? Before you leave, do not let him leave without you. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 do that, do that, do that. already see ways that he might be able to help me. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. stuff like Yeah, that. Even, if, even if it's just that. Yeah. But just building that networking relationship, yeah, exactly. Don't let him leave without doing that. Yeah. He's major. Yeah. That's a fact, that's a fact. All right, so it never fails, man. We got the infamous trading pit. I'm gonna keep it real, I never go in here. This is the most subtle trading pit S sneaker kind of ever seen in my life, man. What up, man? What up, dog? What up? What up? What up? I'm good, doing man. Good. I'm good. I just do you think my bad's gonna come no, 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 no. We good. We good. We good. We got everything straight, though. Everything straight, dog. I just lost up Chicago. What? Yeah. How you loving this, though? It's good. I feel like uh, I didn't expect it to be this big. Yeah. It's a little too crowded. That's what I mean, everybody say. It's all right. But this is how it is all the time for any any yeah. any San Antonio event. Yeah, it's always ridiculous like this or whatever, man. For sure, no, 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 one hundred percent. I've been to like StickerCon, like Miami StickerCon. Yeah, Houston. it's a little bit more spread, a little bit more. Yeah, room, yeah. You know what I mean? I kind of feel like it's kind of shoulder to shoulder here, but having a good time, spent a whole lot of money. Gonna be eating ramen for like the next three months. But it is what it is, right? That's what we gotta do. That's I'm a fact, bro. Let you go, man. But That's a fact, man. God bless tell, you. Well, first of all, tell everybody where they can follow you and stuff like that. At Sneaker Pros. Dot souls on IG. I'll follow back. That's All a right. fact, man. See you, bro. All right, later, man. All right, let's see this. Oh, for sure, for sure, for sure. We at the infamous training pit. As you guys can see, it's ridiculous over here, man. I never go in here, and this is the most subtle training pit I've ever seen in my life. As y'all can see, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you got from vintage to different sneakers, new and used or whatever like that. Majority of the independents, they get busy in here, man. So most definitely, this is this is wild. I'm not effing with it, but <laughs> that's the trading pit for sure. Bro. Talk to me, bro. How you feeling? Everything good, bro? Nice to see you. Amazing. Man, Blessed to yeah. see you another day. Blessed that's a fact. A lot of sales, bro. Honestly, it was a good day. Y'all getting busy day. today? Yes, Word? And this is my spiel. It's easy because I'm like, hey, bro, shoes here are from $80 and under, 120 and under, 140 and under, 160 and under, and then 200 and up. Nice, so I'm like, bro, everybody got the same shoes. Expensive. So I'm like, like, how can I... Yeah, the market yeah, route, and, be, and be different than everybody else in a way, right? Yeah. That's, okay, okay, so we got the homie Crispy Kicks in the building, man, up, man, most definitely, man. Y'all know he's always at our events, man, city to city. But most definitely, man, I'm glad the homie came out to Sneaker Con San Antonio. How you feeling today so far, though? Feeling amazing. Blessed to see you another day, bro. For that's real. a fact, that's a fact. Man, and we're, city to city started in my city. And, and yeah, Dallas, yeah, bro, so yeah. I got to I'm all about supporting entrepreneurs, bro. So we, I've been supporting her since we started, bro. And honestly, I, I like what they've been doing. So. That's a fact. That's a yeah, fact. Sir. So you've been selling today? Selling, bro. Like shit. Like about to hit like 50 pairs, bro. Word, so word. So I can take a month off after this, I think. <laughs> no, you ain't no days nah, nah, off, bro. Nah, 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 ain't no, ain't no days Fine off, time, man. Bro. So, yeah, man. I'm about kicks. to open a store soon, bro. Word. So. No, no days off for real, for real. That's a fact. That's a fact, man. Congratulations. Yeah, thank so. you, bro. Thank you. You'll see Where can up. everybody find you at? Uh, my Instagram. We're actually going to be rebranding really soon, but my Instagram right now, Crispy Stock Kicks. Find me there, bro. That's a fact. That's a fact. Thank Website you. or anything? Uh, not yet, but it's coming, bro. Okay, okay, okay. No, okay. no doubt. Store, bro, so. No doubt, no doubt. Yes, sir. Make sure you guys follow my boy, man. Check Absolutely, him out. Bro. He always got them steals and deals, and you can always find 100%. them at City to City Kicks Expo, man. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you guys come out always. Man, Thank love, you for bro. Showing love, bro. I appreciate oh man, you, always, man. bro, Thank always. You. What's up, brother? What up? How you doing, man? Hey, we on camera, man. I cannot believe this right now. <laughs> I cannot believe this right now. How you doing? <laughs> we got my boy, man. Long, long, long time friend. Ooh, been doing this for a minute. Forever in it. Hey, this is a real OG right here. 
Now, people call me an OG, <laughs> but hey, look, I look up to this man because he was before me. So it's only right. It is only right, man, that we get my boy on the camera, man. This is Mr. Roughneck himself. Thank you. Man, hey, I got to say it on camera, man. I love this man right here, man. I appreciate you, bro. This is real inspiration right here, for real, man. When I started out the brand, this man really, really, really inspired me, man, to keep it pushing. And, and he, and, yo, advice is crazy. Advice was crazy, man. This is literally like, like, Jumpman Bostick when it comes to brands, to me personally, to me personally, man. Everything good, though? Everything is wonderful, baby. Man. Everything is wonderful. Hey, we got we got to get you to come out to our. You know we we um we created our own tour, man. Uh -huh. Yeah, man. Yeah. I'm gonna give you all the details. Okay. Twelve cities, twelve tours. We go somewhere every month. For sure, I'm man. Only, For I'm sure. Only down to get down and move. Man. All right, y'all know what it is, man. I'm over here with Shop Hype Waco. Yeah. Every time I always just say Hype Waco because that's what I'm used to. It is just Hype Waco though. But it it Hype is just Hype Waco, Waco, but the Instagram is Shop Hype Waco. And I just don't have Ryan, but I also have Christian, right? Yeah, yeah it's Christian and Ryan. Normally, it's just Ryan when we see him every time. And me and Ryan, I've known both of these guys forever. I don't even know how many years it's been, but it's been at least 10. It's been at least 10 for sure. I actually think this year makes 10 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This year may be 10 for sure. But we got Hype Waco here, man. SneakerCon San Antonio. How do y'all finally feel about SneakerCon being in San Antonio? Man, this is our first time vending in SneakerCon, so like it's been it's been yeah. crazy. Like it's our first time vending in SneakerCon. So. I didn't know that. Okay. So, so today has been absolutely crazy, man. Like the vibes out here are really cool. The attendance is cool. Um, the, the customer interactions are, you know, they're great, man. Mm -hmm. but the, the vibe out here is definitely very different, but very cool. Dope, dope, dope. Christian, you feel the same way? Yeah, pretty much. Didn't like, didn't really know what to expect. You know, first yeah. time vending. We've been to sneaker cons in the past, but it was it's weird being a vendor opposed to like a consumer or yeah. even, like, trying to sell through like the trading pits and things yeah. like that. So it's good. I mean, started off good. It's been going great so far. So we still dope, have dope. a couple hours left. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Lots of lots of time. Now sales wise, y'all going home really light, mid mid. Mid, yeah. mid. Uh, but but the, the best thing about sales, man, is like there's not a whole bunch of buyers out here that are trying to haggle you. There's buyers out here, of course, yes, but like they're not hitting the tables as hard as they typically do in smaller events. So okay. you're having customers that are coming up and they're just paying the tag on whatever is on, on your, your product. So right. there's very little negotiation just, just buying it. And uh, that's been that's definitely been a different experience here because you, we're used to the haggling and the going back and forth. Yeah, yeah. It, it's just a different vibe. So, all right. Shop Hype Waco is the Instagram. Yes. And then y'all now have a website. Yes. Right. So Hype once Waco. again, it's HypeWaco.com. HypeWaco.com. If you guys seen any of our other, any of my other events, uh, videos and everything like that, Ryan is always there. Same Instagram, same website. Make sure you guys check them out. Uh, the best in the game in and Waco. We have, and we have the websites where you can shop by size. So you don't have to filter through everything to look to see what your size. You can just click your size. It'll show you everything we have available. Shipping is just $10 whether you order one pair or 50 pairs. It doesn't change. The Flat rate. Flat rate is $10 Flat rate. Um, Flat. anywhere in the U.S. Flat. So uh, we do everything through PayPal. So we're both secured on both sides, you know, to make sure that we're not doing anything shady, but also to make sure that the customer can do anything shady as well. Mm -hmm. It's just a protection on both ways. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, man, you can shop the website 24 seven. Uh, as soon as the, the order comes in, we box it. If the post office is still open, we ship it same day. Bet, bet, bet. Ryan, Kristen, most definitely, man. Make sure you guys check them out, man. Let's get out of here. So, I mean, we got the homie here, man. He's, hey, yo, he, look. A little bit. <laughs> We most definitely gonna go check out his table, man. For sure. But uh, um, um, where can people find you at, real quick? Uh, Kilo Kicks Two One Zero on Instagram. Kilo, Kilo Kicks Two One Zero. If you can't find him at a sneaker event, you can find him courtside at the game. <laughs> I see you, man. All right. All right, y'all know what it is, man. I'm over here at Two Empties booth right here, man. Great, great, dope experience. I've known this couple for a long time now. Most definitely, San Antonio and New York. I don't want to disrespect them. New York and San Antonio, but I've known them for a long time now, and they started their own brand, Too Empty. They have a whole experience. So uh, why don't y'all give me a tour? Why don't y'all give me a tour of everything? Morning, we got this shirt right here. We call it Gone. No. 
When you break a girl's heart, she's gone, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, okay, okay. With the logo, two empty. Two empty on the front. Yes, and then we got I like that on the bass real dope. Yeah. Got the little off-white dunks. I don't yeah. Know what it's we got uh, the shirts called Empty Bottles. Comes Empty Bottles. White, white and black. Okay. Okay. And they got the two on the. I like that. Yeah, yeah. That's dope. And the empty in the yes, sir. That's real nice. That's real nice. We got some hyper pill. Got some supreme jackets with the gloves. Nice. 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 Some, you know, we get some brisk out here. We got some Canada goose. Reversible chinchilla. Now I know you. I know you get a lot of the. You know what I'm saying. Um, uh, the real hype, the real exclusive, very hard to find. Uh, where can people find two empty like social media, website stuff like that or whatever? We have. We do have a website. It just launched today. www.twoempty.com. And it launched today. It launched today. Nice, nice, Make nice. Sure you guys check that out. Run it up. We got all the all this stuff you see here is going to be on the site. And then the Instagram and stuff like that. The Instagram. We got it. Empty rooms. Type it in, it'll pop up easy. Nice, nice. This is real dope, man. And and what the one thing I like about y'all booth every time I see y'all yeah. is that it's different. It's not like everybody else's booth. Yeah. You know, uh, it gives you a whole vibe and experience. Like you bring the store literally out to besides SneakerCon, but whatever event that you guys do. Yeah. yeah. So that's what's really dope about Try to this bring most definitely. To everybody instead of just yeah. up to a table like a flea market. That's a fact. That's a fact. Boutique type of personal experience you come in we'll take care of you personally one-on-one -on -one. everybody else waits outside that's nice that's real nice it gets me um it gets me um i forget the trading show in vegas um oh, uh, i forget the name of it right now or whatever but you know what i'm talking about agenda, agenda. Yeah, yeah yeah this gives me agenda vibes right here yes, sir. this gives me agenda vibes if you've ever been to agenda it's literally like this uh, where everybody has their own experience like this. So it's really, really dope, most definitely. So make sure you guys check out Too Empty for sure. All right, y'all know what it is, man. I got the homie. Where can everybody find you at? Box Life underscore clothing on Instagram. Box Life underscore clothing. This, is, this might have been my brother for, I don't know, forever and a day, for a long time. Box Life clothing, make sure you guys check him out. All right, man, y'all know what it is, man. I got the homie right here, man. I ain't seen my homie since... since D.C.? What year was that? Uh, uh, <laughs> D.C., Sneaker Con, D.C. was... At my show. 20? 20? Uh, or 19. That's 20? A, that's when the, uh, Travis, Travis Scott... Travis yeah. Scott yeah. Big, yeah. Yeah. It's been, it's been a long time since Sneaker Con, D.C., for sure, man. So, once again, everybody can find you at... Those, the business page, official King Charles, my personal. You can check us on YouTube at Big Had Those TV. Uh, tap in, man. Let's work. Let's get it. That's a fact, man. And then I got Big E with, and I got Little E over here. I got Big E over here, man. True North. It's True North SA, right? Yes, sir. So make sure you guys check out True North SA. The hottest in the game in San Antonio. The hottest in the game for sure, man. Make sure you guys check out True North SA. And man, yeah, it's always a good time to see Big E, man. Oh, yeah, always, sure. always for sure, man, for sure. You said, dang, you ain't a good time seeing me? Hey, hey. <laughs> I'm playing you hey. all love, man. That's it's fun. always a good time hey, to see my bad, but... Hey, that's what I be trying to preach, man. Like, all of us can just work together. And that's a fact. That El Paso area. Right? Exactly, exactly, man, exactly. Because it's been, it's, it's honestly been like two years, but every time we see each other, it's like yesterday. Yeah, you know real. what I'm saying? That's a fact. That's it's a fact. Love, man, for sure. <laughs> for sure, man. Good you. For sure. And then we got royalty right here. We, we oh, got we got. Stop playing, man. <laughs> yeah, no, we got royalty right here, man. We got the Henrys as usual. As the Henrys usual. came out to Sneaker Con San Antonio. Oh man. Look. Hey y'all, Swiss. Y'all, Swiss. You know it. So you know if it. you guys remember in the last video in Austin. Uh, Al had on, and y'all switched. Yeah. Oh, look, look, little his and hers, little his and hers action or whatever <laughs> like that, man. So once again, Al, where can they find you at? IG, man, 10.5, 10.5 IBE, man, follow me. The Who Has the Heat champion. Season five. You can check him at 10.5. Pull it up, who has And then we got, and then we got Mickey right here, Mickey Kicks. Catch me on Instagram, Mickey Kicks. It's Kicks with two X's, no CK. Also, you can follow my business page at Mickey Made It on the ground too. Check me out. All right, y'all know what it is, man. I'm over here with the lovely ladies of Sneaker Snob. Uh, they are here in San Antonio, Sneaker Con. First of all, ladies, 
How y'all feeling? Good. San Antonio, y'all have shown us so much love, so we appreciate y'all. Thank y'all. So, y'all sell, y'all selling out? We selling out. Y'all done bought up all of our San Antonio stuff, so we appreciate y'all. Come back, so y'all can buy it again. <laughs> Do y'all feel like Sneaker Con is coming back? Cause this is the first time here. It may be coming yeah, back. Maybe. I think it was all day, so I can anticipate coming back. What 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 do y'all have for today? First of all. So today we have the San Antonio Spurs shirts that we got, uh, but then we got the shorts too. Got them on right now. That's our collaboration with New Bar that we do with every city that we go to. So and then we have our, our regular stuff. We have one last way too sexy shirt. These have sold out. This is our last one. And then we still got Rick Ross. Ross, come on y'all. My name Ross. <laughs> Who doesn't like Kimmy Rose, y'all? <laughs> and then we still got some Dallas stuff left, so that was our San Antonio um, collab that we did. But of course, our, our regular stuff that we got. So check us out, follow us, like us, buy from us. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you guys check out Snickers now for sure, man. They, I like how I tell you guys, uh, it's been officially one year now, and they've been at every sneaker con as possible since they launched. Yep. They obviously, you know, support Sneedy the City, and they support Sneakerheads Clothing Line. So most definitely, make sure you guys check them out. All right, y'all know what it is, man. I'm over here with TDK, man. I got the owner of TDK. We over here in the building, man. How you feeling about Sneaker Con San Antonio? Man, Sneaker Con, hey, Texas is representing, bro. Texas is out here, bro. It's all Texas love. And like they say, everything is bigger in Texas, and they, it's no joke, man. It's facts. Man, so most definitely, make sure you guys check out TDK. I mean, they have been killing, besides San Antonio, they have branched out throughout the whole state. I mean, from the barbershop division, from the clothes, uh, uh, to the sneakers. Uh, to, am I missing? Like, what else do y'all do? So it's a concept store, right? So it's the kicks, cuts, and clothing. And we ain't new to this, man. We've been true to this. We've been 10 years deep, man, and we still going strong. You know what I mean? That's a fact. That's a fact. So where can everybody find you guys at? Specifically in San Antonio, though. Okay. Specifically in San Antonio at Ingram Park Mall. We do have a San Antonio barbershop. But there's a lot of stuff in the works, man. Aside from that, San Marcos, we're just 30 minutes away. Check us out there. We're in the outlets on the premium side. We're three stores down from Burberry, you know, so make sure you check us out, man. You know, it's all love, TDK. Make sure you guys check them out for sure, man. Once again, it's always all love. Uh, I mean, we've known each other since the Sneaks Up days, so it's been years for sure, man, and it's always love, man. And they also come out to our events also as well, city to city. So make sure you guys check out TDK throughout the whole state of Texas, not just San Antonio. Much love, bro, for sure. All right, y'all know what it is, man. I'm over here at M Rock Kicks Apparel. Make sure you guys check them out for sure, man. Uh, I got the owner right here. What's going on? So then, uh, how did you get started? Man, I quit my full day job six years, six months ago. Nice. And just put $100 in and made it to what it is. Wait, right wait, 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 hold on, hold on. So you just put in $100, $100 just $100? And I started flipping them and then made it up to $200, $300, yeah, and yeah. $1,000. Ten thousand and go for, and that's what I've been doing. That's dope. That's dope. so. How long? How long, long have you been in the business with the brand and everything? The brand will be seven months, but graphic designing, web design, eleven years. So nice, I know nice. All that all by hand already. Nice, nice. Make sure you guys check out. Make sure you guys check out M Rock Kicks Apparel. Most definitely. Uh, social media, M Rock Kicks. M Kicks Apparel on platform: Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Yeah, pretty much it. Most definitely. Make sure you guys check them out. And uh, we will be talking because we might be able to do like a collab or something like that. Because you guys know I'm always into doing a collaboration with different brands for sure, man. So make sure you guys check them out. Uh, he just told me they have a new release uh, for the Milwaukee Bucks, which you know I got to have uh, for next month. So stay tuned for that also as well, man. What's up, man? Y'all know what it is, man. I got the homie Top right here. It's That Boy Top. That, by, that Boy Top on IG. Two P's? Yes, sir. All right, man, y'all know what it is, man. Make sure y'all check out my boy, that boy Top, man. He always got that heat, Supreme, sneakers, vintage. He got everything, man. Straight out of Oklahoma. Make sure y'all check him out for sure. Thank you. All right, y'all know what it is, man. I'm over here with my boy, Nick, man. So and on Instagram, it's Nick. Uh, the Nick Felix. The Nick Felix, man. Not so, And then he is the owner of? Handful, Handful of Hype. 
Handful of hype. Partner with Heat Geeks LA. Just open store in LA, Santa Monica on Fish Street. Come check us out. Man, so most definitely. First things first, man. So me and Nick known each other for a little while now. If you ever see his Instagram, he's always talking about how to get money. You know, uh, first things first, you know what I'm saying, how to get your credit tight and how to be able to move and maneuver in the game out here. How did you actually get started, first of all? I found somebody that was way older than me that luckily just shared the game with me because it's all I was hustling, that was it. There's a lot of hustlers in this space and if you just keep going, you're gonna meet the right person. Like and, that, and that's the key thing that I wanted him to say real quick. Cause I, I already know his story, but y'all may not know his story or whatever like that. But Nick, first of all, in the sneaker side, uh, when did you get started with the whole brand and everything like that? How long has it been now? 2018, I got the LLC established. And that's not really when the business starts. I think the business starts when you actually have a spreadsheet and you know your numbers. Mm -hmm. And that didn't happen until about 2020. No, no, 2020. 2020 was the first year I had a spreadsheet. So LLC in 2018, I consider myself really in business 2020, two years. Okay, years and then, so then, uh, one crazy question I do want to ask though is what do you have on feet right now? Cause I saw I saw a few people saying they was wearing these today. So my boy in LA, shout out to Emery, Mr. Banks, got to tag him. He put me on these. He showed me them on TikTok. We were able to figure out a store that actually had them, and we scooped the rest of what they had. We call them the cuddle slides. You can try to order them. They're obviously from overseas, but the turnaround time is like four months. So if you can find a place to source them better, let me know. But right now. He Geeks LA, and we got a few of them out here, a handful of hype, but cuddle slides. How, how, how comfortable are we talking? I would think they're uh, comparing with Easy a little bit, I'm not gonna what? lie. It's a little different, but I wouldn't wear them all day if they weren't comfortable, so I give them like a eight out of 10. Eight facts, out of 10. Facts, facts, facts. 10 out of 10, I'd be lying to you, but eight out of 10 for sure. Hey, well, it's always most definitely good to see my boy Nick, man, man. We always been politicking for a while now, man. Besides the business, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, from, from, from credit, the flip game, uh, just just business period, man. He, he most definitely is a YG, you know what I'm saying? So make sure you guys check him out on Instagram and make sure you guys check out Handful of Hype for sure, man. And I need to ask you one question. For sure. we're here, okay, so. All right. Hey, you said it right. How long have you been in the game, number one? Uh, quick, just quick answer, how long? Brand, or, or are you talking about collecting? Just, just uh, the brand, the brand, getting serious with the brand. The brand 2009, we launched in 2010. And my second question to you is, who did you learn from, or was it just all experience? No, I, I actually learned, okay, so, I've been collecting since 89. Oh. I actually, I actually uh, the business side though, I learned from my mom and dad, because my mom and dad, they never punched the clock for nobody. That's crazy. So literally, like, it was in-home training, without even knowing I was getting in-home training. And then you Be realized. Yeah, yeah, because so once I once I got done, once I got done playing ball and I got out of college and everything like that, and I retired from playing ball, it was like, what was I gonna do? And I had my son on the way and everything like that. And then, you know, it just, it boom, you know, it, it clicked. You know what I'm saying? Like, what am I gonna do in a sneaker culture? You know, that's gonna be different. And it just came to me one night, you know, like, yo, start the brand. You know, Star Sneaker Heads clothing line. It literally came like that. You so know what I'm saying? Clothing line was the first thing that boomed. Oh, that's a fact. Yeah. And then events. Yep. Stores. Yep. Yep. That's crazy. It's the next earlier leisure, but nah, it was always gonna catch up. That's a fact, bro. That's yes, a sir, fact, man. The next one. Yo, fact, fact, fact. Yes, oh, I, uh, I'll get you. Um, you know, we're doing Houston and San Antonio next. Word. Let me know. Houston for sure. San Antonio is a push, but I might come out. I'm a support. Uh, so Houston is is on the ninth, uh, and then San Antonio next month. April. Yep. I'm gonna be in Spain. From the 6th to the 12th, my birthday's April 8th. Okay, okay, okay. Spain, well, 6th to the 12th. we got San Antonio end of the month, and then we got we you know we got Dallas in May. So Dallas, I got you for sure. But we'll do something special in Dallas. Let's do something like however I can help out. But Facts. Let's, let's talk beforehand and let's do something. Okay, for sure, man. All right, good to see you. Talk to you later. Always love. All right, man. Y'all know what it is, man. I'm over here with my homie, man. Uh, I, we haven't seen each other since Orlando, July. I think it was yeah, like July. July. Yeah, it was like July, man. So. Tell the people who you are first of all, man. That's that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. First time in San Antonio for sneaker con. Well, sneaker con first time period in San Antonio. You know what I'm saying? My boy came through. 
got the got the fresh fresh. You know what I'm saying? And he always keeps a fresh haircut. You know what I'm saying? On deck. How you how you loving San Antonio? I love it, man. What's uh, what's the houses? I want to move. What's up? They that's a me, fact. They tell me I go I go house like 300 k Hey, now hey, now that's a fact. Well, hey, we'll talk we'll talk numbers all off camera, and I'll I'll let you know for sure, man. But let me, hey, let me get it. I got about, I, I just got approved for Obama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man, so most definitely, man. It is real, real dope to see my boy, man, out here in San Antonio, man, doing his thing at San Antonio, at San Antonio Sneaker Con. Man, hey, I need a shirt, bro. I need a shirt. All right, man, y'all know what it is, man. I got my homie over here from DC. Uh, DC sold DFW, though, right? See, because I always mess that up, so I don't want to respect the name. Yeah, we, we, we had to go by DC sold DFW, DC sold LLC, but you know, we out here in San Antonio kicking and vibing, you know what I'm saying? Selling shoes, doing what we usually do. <laughs> You already know. It's hey, the table man, it's almost empty, man. We gotta re up, man. You know. That's what a saying? fact. That's a fact, man. That's yeah, a fact. Yeah, Check yeah, it out. Yeah, Check yeah, it out. Man, we gotta get right back to buying. Hey, hey you know what I'm saying? Cause they got they got a little bit of something left. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I know for sure y'all been getting busy today. Y'all yeah, sure. been getting busy today, you know, man. San Antonio showed a lot of love today. That's so, what I. That, that, that's yeah. what I've been telling them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's what I've been telling them for sure, man. Yeah. Make sure make sure you guys check out as usual, DCF. Souls DFW on Instagram, right? DC Souls DFW. Yeah. DC Souls DFW. Yes, yes. DC Souls DFW. Uh, website and all that. Website shop DCSouls.com. And what about what about uh, what about the clothes? The yeah. DCSTheBrand.com. So we got the T-shirts right there. We got the hoodies as well as usual. You already know. New drop coming coming soon. Should be next week. Should be within the next week or so. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Nice, nice, yes, nice. Sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know they always come through. You know, for our events, you know what I'm saying, city to city and everything like that. So make sure you guys check them out for sure, man. If you see twins, then you see, you know what I'm saying? You don't see the youngest. You already Yo, know. they all hand in hand. Hand, hand, hand in hand. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. It, man. <laughs> like yin and yang, you already know. Appreciate you, my man. All right, y'all know what it is, man. I couldn't leave without seeing my boy Flyer Kicks. You know what I'm saying? My boy Flyer Kicks. And you, hey, you just did a sneaker battle too, I heard. Yeah, I did do a sneaker battle on who has the heat. Yeah, who yeah, has the heat. Yes, you know sir, what I'm saying? Did, man, that was solid. So, was solid. you know, we just we just got done seeing my boy Al 10.5. That's the who has the heat champ from uh, season like five. Season, yeah, a couple of seasons ago. Like yeah. season five or something like that. But my boy Flyer Kicks is in the building. Yeah. Straight from Houston. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? HBCU in the building. Yes, sir. You know, but you know, he, he went to the rival school, but you know. It's still all good. It's all love. It's all love yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, y'all, y'all went to the dance this year, didn't y'all? Yeah, we did go to the dance. We made it uh, to we, we won a play-in game and played against Kansas or somebody. You know they y'all played against Kansas. Y'all yeah, played man. against. See, I didn't say it. He said it. Man, that's the setup. Bro. He said it. It's you know what I'm saying? That's something that we most definitely have to work on. You know what I'm saying? My boy, my What's boy, heavenly done popped in here. You already know what it is. We got two Travis. One, <laughs> hey, we trying to get him gone. We working here. Yes, sir. That's crazy, man. Hey, we'll talk about that in another video about how the about how the swag, not just the HBCU, but the swag, is set up for failure when it comes to March Madness. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying about playing the play in. Yeah. We should just be able to be in. It shouldn't be a play in. And then after we win the play-in, we have to play the number one every time. Every time. Every time. But the MEAC ain't got to do that. Yeah, they don't. They but don't. we just supposed to be happy that we, you yeah, know what I'm saying, yeah. as HBCUs, yeah. you know, if it's the MEAC or the SWAG, we just supposed to be happy that we get in nowadays. But Because we used to not be able to get in at all. At all, man. You know at what I'm saying? We win our conference tournament, they still put us against the top seed. Yep. Yeah, at least give us a 14, 15 seed or something next time, man. But. You know how that goes. But what you got? What you got, man? What man, you got? I got a little bit of everything, bro. I probably sold probably like 60 pairs today. Um, so I'm, I'm running a little low, but I got a little bit of everything, bro. Some for the ladies, some for the guys, man. New Balance, Dunks, Jordans. A little bit of everything, bro. I try to keep the inventory real diverse. Yeah, yeah, as most much definitely. As I can, man. As much as I can. And you, got, you most definitely got that arsenal up in here, man. Yeah. All the way to the hats and everything, man. You know what I'm saying? Try to keep some new stuff, man. Um, definitely got the re up this week. I sold a lot of stuff, man. My table was full. Every row was full when we yeah. started, bro. So I'm gonna have to re up, but I'm gonna come back strong for uh, for the Houston show for sure for the Facts, facts, facts. Cause my boy always keep that heat when it comes to them dunks, and these dunks is real. I'm gonna keep it funky with it. This dunk section is kind of low right about now. You know what I'm saying? Is, man. It is. 
two J's came through by all my pandas. Word. Yeah, I sold a couple of uh, the women's pairs, man. So that, that's what everybody like, bro. So mm -hmm. I try to keep some dunks on hand. Mm -hmm. Try to. That's a fact. That's a fact, bro. Well, once again, man, make sure you check out my bro Flyer Kicks, man. Most definitely straight out of Houston. Uh, check out the Instagram. Is uh, uh, spell it out, cause you know Fly your kicks. stuff is extra, extra. <laughs> yes, sir. Fly Kicks, man. F L Y two E's two R's, man. K I C K S, man. Y'all tap in. And make sure you guys check his battle out on who has the heat also as well, man. My sure, boy man. did his thing for sure. Definitely. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't even get to check it out yet, but you know, yeah, word, cool. word, word through through the sneaker culture community yeah. is I heard that you had a battle. I said, word? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I got robbed, but it's all good. I ain't <laughs> mad, but I got robbed, man. I got robbed, bro. But it's cool. It's cool. Most definitely, boy. One. Appreciate you, bro. All right, man, y'all know what it is, man. Back again. I had to before we left, man. I had to stop by private selection. Straight out of Dallas, man. Y'all know what it is. Man, how y'all living today? Exhausted. Exhausted, <laughs> but happy to be here. Today has been incredible. The last two days have also been incredible. So even though we are burnt, haven't eaten all day, uh, interacting with the people and everything we've done has been very well worth it. Man, so I know you guys are based out of Dallas. I mean, I know you guys are everywhere all the time. What, first of all, what have you guys been doing since you guys been in San Antonio, though? So, uh, we flew in on Thursday. We hit three or four sneaker stores. By Thursday night, we were like, okay, we got to step it up a little bit tomorrow. I wanted to get people excited for sneaker con. So, we hit three or four more stores, and every store we hit on Friday, we bought a shoe, autographed a shirt, and left it, and then went live on sneaker con's IG, told everybody to pull up, and you get a free shoe. So, after we did that, three or four spots, we ended off at the Alamo, pulled up out front, told everybody to run up on us, and we gave away a Fragment Low, a Travis Fragment Low, to a, a guy who happened to be in the, the store in the mall, and so he ran out front, he was the first to claim it. So we gave away three, four thousand dollars worth of shoes yesterday, Ooh. and so that's how we started it off, and then pivoting into today, we have been going crazy. We bought, we brought 22 early birds, we're down to 21, because we gave one away to the, the kid from uh, euphoria so oh, yeah. we're now down to 21 and then we also essentially sold out of all the merch i think we have like two or three smalls left and two or three three x's left and we brought you know hundreds of teams so to see the love uh that we've gotten out here in san antonio has been unreal and i'm very excited to be able to present the content when we drop this episode it's for sure gonna be everyone's new fan yeah oh yeah that's a fact that's a fact that happened, so and that's what everybody's been saying that at uh that I know and I talk to, as far as like, if it's sneakers or merch or whatever like that, everybody's been selling out. Uh, I've been telling people all the time, man, if there's any event in San Antonio, you need to come out because San Antonio comes out and they show major love and they buy. They yeah. buy, they most definitely buy and they show love for sure. The culture is real out here. They, they're they very heavy into tying in the vintage pieces mm -hmm. with the sneakers. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a very cool mix, but it was something that we saw at almost every sneaker store mm -hmm. in town, which mm -hmm. lets me know that's the vibe over here. That's a fact. You just want a fresh pair of kicks, you know what I'm saying? Some vintage Levi's or Carhartts or something, and then a vintage tee, and that's like, that's the way it, Everybody's doing it over here, and I, I love it. I, I like to see the cohesiveness in the culture. I'm excited for San Antonio, and I hope that our episode shines a big enough light on this city that it, people start to pay attention. You know what I mean? When we traveled and we do uh, a Dallas episode, I think we did eight or nine stores, but we also did eight or nine stores in San Antonio. Yeah, so yeah. there's just as many stores here as there, as there is back in Dallas. <laughs> so even though you consider it a smaller market, yeah. nah, man, these guys are out here. We found a lot of cool shoes. We found a lot of cool stuff. Uh, so San Antonio is super dope. I'm I, I think it's more so just more so of a, a slept on, a slept on market. I agree. Because once again, this is the first time for SneakerCon to come here. Been talking about it for years and they finally came and everything like that. But most definitely when people come and they be like, I didn't expect this. And then when they actually, ex you know, they get here and get the experience, they get the, they catch the vibe. It's like, oh yeah, they ready to come back. You know what I'm saying? So most definitely, man, uh, where can everybody find? Well, obviously you guys know we have private selection, but where can they find you guys at? We are located in the Dallas Gallery Mall on the third floor, Dallas, Texas. If you're looking for us on IG. PRBT dot selection and if you're looking for me, it's the one and only full fit Larry. For sure, man. Larry. Hey. Appreciate you again, my brother. All love, man. Thank you.